And we are back. And we just finished Jun Bab. <laughs> and we are back. And we just finished Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves from 2023. Rated PG 13 with a runtime of two hours and 14 minutes. This was a delight. It didn't feel like two hours and 14 minutes. There's other movies that feel way longer than this. This mm-hmm. moved pretty quickly, had a. Pretty straightforward story, great characters, great character development. The cast carried the film really, really well. Kudos to everyone and I guess the writers. Yeah, the writer, the writing had good humor to it. I probably played D&D like for maybe a couple of weeks in my lifetime, but that, that seems seemed about right. Yeah. It's a fun game. I only to. played for like a couple of weeks too. Yeah. Uh, this is directed by John Francis Daly, Freaks and Geeks, and Jonathan oh, really? Goldstein, with writing credits to Jonathan Goldstein, John Francis Daly, Michael Giglio, from a story by Chris McKay and Michael Giglio. I hope I said that right. Maybe I didn't. In this, we are introduced to Ed Edgen, played by Chris Pine, and Holga by Michelle with played by Michelle Rodriguez, who at the beginning of the story seem to be incarcerated and are trying to talk their way out of being incarcerated in front of, I guess, the parole board. Yeah. And this is where you get, I guess, the exposition of how they came to be where they are now. And once that scene is over, we're off to the races with this story. I'm going to go around the table and get impressions. What'd you think? This was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I'm like used to anything with Dungeons and Dragons uh, being adapted into something terrible. Yes. There was uh, another. There was a previous Dungeons and Jeremy Dragons Irons. movie with Jeremy Irons and I think Marlon Wayans. And, was he in that? And Thora Birch, I think, was in it. Wow. I can't believe you even remember that. I remember Jeremy Irons only because he's such a prestige actor, but I guess it, at that point he, he was, was. He knew what he was in and he was hamming the, the hell crap out of that. It. Yeah, role. I remember yeah. that. He was just like, I'm evil. You know, like, <laughs> I don't know if he actually said that, but he may, he may as well have said it. Yeah, uh, I, probably the only decent Dungeons & Dragons thing I remember, like an adaptation of from when I was a kid, was like the little cartoon, cartoon. show. On Channel Which two? I didn't get to see very often because I went to piano school every Saturday. Sorry. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but there was even an homage to that yes. in this. Yes, which was, which was pretty, great. Which was pretty cute. Yeah. This... I don't know why, but uh, I, of course I had to go check the numbers. This had a budget of $150 million and made only 37 opening weekends. How did it do overall? Overall in the U.S. and Canada, 92 mil. However, that's a, that's a damn shame. This is a good movie. However, gross worldwide, thank you, Asia, is $203 million. But uh, still, you need studios to studios will still double. consider that a failure, right? Because yeah, it's 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 isn't it usually double the budget? Double the at least double the budget, yeah. Yeah, that's too bad because this was really really good. It was and really good. From what I understood, it was well received. It yeah, just, I, I never I never heard anyone say the anything bad about it. No, it just did it come out at the wrong time. I don't know. I mean, I from what I read, I think I read somewhere that. Its placement was was bad, and that um, its placement was its bad. Its placement was bad, and that it came out right after some big movie, and then r- I think right after it came out, uh, Mario Brothers came out, and that is apparently just the biggest juggernaut of the summer so far. Yeah, no, people love that movie. It's rigged. It's, it's made so over a billion money. dollars. How is that even possible? How is that? It must people be a good love movie. Mario, and I want to go see it too. I mean, you won't we'll probably see it, but I, I, I don't. I mean, see I'm not myself, going to the theater. I don't see myself to see running it. to the theater. Yeah, this year, I don't see myself. I would see myself going. Running was it Avatar? Because Avatar came out this year too, didn't it? The one that came before it may have been. Ugh. I don't know. That's no, another movie that it, did I think ridiculous Avatar numbers. Came up, came out like a while ago. Didn't it come out this year? I could swear it came it out this came year. It came out this year, but I don't think it was like April. Is that when this came out? I don't know. I don't know. This came I'm out this year, sure though, like this early in, in the year. I thought this one came out after Avatar because I didn't hear about this one until after Avatar. Yeah, so it Avatar did, must it did come out after Avatar. Then this came out, and then 
crazy Mario Brothers. Yeah. Well, that was. I mean, that's I that's just one article I read. So it's just some rando's opinion that you know. Oh, that's why this. Failed. How did either of those? I mean, not that. Listen, does any movie really need to make a billion dollars? No. But how the hell do Avatar and Mario Brothers make that much money? I guess it's just legacy. I mean, Although there's legacy to this story, isn't there? Like, yeah, and there's just like the, there's like a big resurgence of people interested in Dungeons and Dragons. So how did this not do better? Was it not advertised? I mean, I'm gonna bet that the Venn diagram of of people who play Dungeons and Dragons and people who pirate movies is <laughs> there's a big overlap. <laughs> That's too bad. That's too bad. Yeah, this movie should have done better numbers. It should have done better numbers than Top Gun Maverick, for Christ's sake. America, what is going on with you? They love their Top Gun. That's all. <sighs> Gee, impressions. It was good. It was entertaining. Do you feel like it could have been better, or was there something lacking for you? Or uh, No, I don't think this movie was bad. I can't really think of anything that would have made it better. Okay. Uh, did you have a favorite character? I really liked uh, what she called Holga. Holga. She yeah. was crazy cool. She was crazy cool. The lovely Michelle Rodriguez, who is sort of like an action star, even though you don't really think of her as an action star. No, I don't think of her. like I think of her as the action star. She's in yeah. a lot of action type movies i mean those fast and the furious, furious movies. movies she was in all those resident evil movies yeah she's not like multi blockbuster rock money type but she's in these but she, franchises but she's, but she's in there yeah yeah oh yeah. well, good for her i mean it's too bad that this didn't do better yeah i hope it does good on uh streaming streaming yeah I, I, all of would, g you know I, I could see this being a franchise of some kind if yeah, everybody was Audiences. charming. Chris Pine. Uh, yeah. It had good John. trailers. I don't yeah. Know. I, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know. Olive G, what did you think of the film? I thought it was good. Yeah? Did you have a favorite character? Um, the shapeshifter lady. The shapeshifter lady, played by That's Sophia. Cool. What's her name? Lilis? Lilis? Her name is Doric. <coughs> she reminds me of uh, Jane Seberg. Is that her name? French New Wave and those Godard movies. Oh, know, yeah, Godard. that picture. She was the girl from It. Yeah. I hope she has a good career. I yeah. like her as a one of these young actresses. I also like the lovely Chloe Coleman, who played yeah. Chris Pine's daughter. Smaller role, but yeah, Smaller good. Smaller role, but still, it's weird to see the Red Witch with hair on her IMDb page. <laughs> Wait, where? Head. This is what she looks like with hair. Oh. Yeah. She, she oh, looks, uh, she's not ugly. No. Very I, I thought different she looked though. Balls in real life. She's bald. Oh yeah, no, she looks completely normal. Yeah. But Wait, in the is movie, she bald she's... in real life? Or no. no. <laughs> I'm sure the bald was even like CG. In I doubt movie, she shaved she's her head bald. for this film. The lovely Hugh Grant being a heavy. Hugh yes. Grant's great. He Hugh is Grant's great in this. I was hoping there would be a musical number at the end. <laughs> Missed opportunity. It would be amazing if it was the same Same number from Paddington 2. (laughs) That would have been, um, that would have been, that would have made my year. You know what? That would have been, that would have brought in butts and seats. Yeah. And just have instead of full prisoners, they're like all these like D&D creatures dancing around. (laughs) Dancing around. Uh, Yeah. I don't know why this didn't do better. I am unclear. It was a ton of fun. And yet... Movies like Smile make all this money and uh, don't get me started on Smile was just such garbage. Yeah, I mean, there's really nothing to critique here. No, it I mean was the, great. the effects were very good. the The story the was story was solid. good. It had nice little bits of humor. It really, I mean, it really played into all the D and D stuff. You know, you had your your spell caster, you had your warrior, you had the bard. The paladin played very well by uh, whatever that guy's name is. Just the paladin is like the most boring character. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he, he did it very well. He's killing everybody, but still, he's just. But he's still charming. He's not the guy you want to hang out with. Like, <laughs> what was it? They're riding next to each other, and he's just like, can somebody else ride next to him? <laughs> Zank, played by Regis Jean Page, who was famous for his role in Bridgerton. He's good looking. I mean, I'm surprised that didn't bring in more people. I mean, Chris Pine is good looking too. I don't think it 
that brings people in anymore. This isn't the day of golden age Hollywood where it was just like, oh, wow, that person's beautiful. and Let's go see their movie. It doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, I guess not. It really doesn't. Yeah. It does I mean, really, does any, any star's name on the marquee really guarantee a ton of people going to go see the movie? I guess Tom Cruise. No, because he, I mean, He's had some Edge dogs. of Tomorrow yeah. was excellent. Yeah. It should have been a colossal hit, hit. And, yeah. and nobody it saw it. Well, no, nobody, but. I mean, it te- about in, when it was it. out in the theaters, it didn't do well. I think it got its audience afterwards, but that film definitely deserved more people. War box office, for sure. For yeah. sure. I, d- I don't. Yeah, that's I don't a billion dollar movie, yeah. not Maverick. I don't see, I just don't see that anymore where there's like a, a star out there who just makes movies and you're just like, oh yeah, that's a. Surefire hit. That's a Jim Smith movie. We got to go see Jim Smith. Yeah, that's weird. When did that happen? It feels like there used to be a time where a name guaranteed box office success. Yeah, like Schwarzenegger. Yeah, or Cruz. Cruz at Cruz. Yeah, but that it's like that heyday. Will is, Smith. It's that heyday is done. Will Smith. Exactly. It was like Fourth of July. Oh, where's the Will Smith movie? Right, right. That lasted a couple of years. Yeah. No, no. That is weird. When did that happen? Is it because of I streaming guess. oversaturation of content? I don't maybe because I maybe mean, because we just maybe because you have more access to these people now because I feel it's, like it's sort of like less special possibly but I feel like because of all the goddamn streaming services you have an overabundance of content that is true I mean if you want to see that actor you could just see their entire library of films at a at, like you don't at, have to go to the at, movies at to see Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans because they did Gray Man on what was it Netflix? Mm-hmm. So, but I I don't think that that is it. I ju- I just think it's that when we were growing up and when people be before us were grow were the audience. It was a big deal to go. To the it f- was a big deal to theater. go to the movies. Yeah, and so you wanted to see your favorites. Now it's sort of like I don't have to wait to see this guy's next movie because I could watch all his movies anytime I want, no matter what. Hmm. So when he does make something new or he or she does make something new, it's sort of like it on the streamer. It's, it's, it's not special anymore. It's I mean, nothing is really that special anymore. There's very little appointment television. There's no, there's nothing as far as appointment movie going really. I mean, even, yeah, I mean, look what's happening with Marvel. Yeah, it's like it's we're so long. inundated with Marvel stuff now. That's like nobody the, cares. The, the box yeah. office is just experiencing diminishing returns now. Yeah. So, and that's just Do what you that's think just, just it's it's always going to be like that from now on. I think. But there are the outliers like Mario Brothers or Avatar. Or you know what? Avatar. When was the last time? Av- when was the time Avatar right. came out? It, it like came out like years twenty ago. years ago, and it had like a religious cult fervor. People were getting painted up and getting married in yeah. Navi ceremonies and stuff like that. They were they were booking entire exactly, exactly. destination weddings where everybody had to be a freaking cat. Man, what? The- <laughs> Now it it's 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 lying. like it's and and in between those twenty years, it wasn't like every couple of years James Cameron was like, "Hey, it's the Avatar Christmas special." Or, yes, that's or true. anything like that, or an Avatar. There wasn't even an Avatar cartoon. No, or I don't know. I don't remember video games. It was just like nothing. Nothing. And then now the second Avatar comes out, and all those people that saw it before who were just like, "Oh my god, this was a life changing movie." I am a cat. <laughs> They're back and they're bringing their kids with them and yeah, and, yeah. and whatever. So it's special. Mario Brothers. When was the when was the last Mario Brothers? Oh my movie? god, eighty eight. It was like it was eighty eight. It was absolute Bob tr- Hoskins, yeah, right? Bob Hoskins and Jago was on. It, it was trash. Dennis Hopper as Bowser, <laughs> and he wasn't even like a, he was just Dennis Hopper wearing a wearing a leather jacket. Yeah, and it was like, what the hell was that? And now it's you have like this whole thing where. Okay, these old video games, they're getting like a respectful treatment and they're not like trying to twist them into something else. Yeah, so that's going to be kind of special. Mm. And it yes. used to be, and that, that's another thing, it used to be the video game movies were, they were guaranteed to be awful. Yeah. I mean, look at, uh, 
I don't know how they made so many. I th- I guess the only reason they made so many Resident Evil movies is because they were just probably dirt cheap to make. Yeah. It's just like, hey, everybody, here's a green screen. Uh, zombies, run. Yeah. And that was it. It's not like as though you had major stars in them. Like the biggest star was Mila Jovovich and Michelle Rodriguez. And Mila's married to the director. Isn't Mila's she? married to the director, <laughs> so maybe she's taking a little half salary or something like yeah. that. But yeah, they were they were trash. The Silent Hill movies are trash. The, uh, I can't even remember. Halo. The, God, remember World of Warcraft? Was, oh, that was awful. It was awful. It was. Oof. It was like. You really had to be a fan of that that game to understand what the hell was going on. But even then, it was just not good. Uh, no. It was like, it felt like it was four hours. I don't think it was, but it felt like it. And now you have like actual comedic writers who grew up with this stuff and respect this stuff. It's not some like some some fat old guy who's just like, uh, I, I need a paycheck. Oh, what is this? Mario Brothers? Yeah. All right. What what is with all this plumbing crap and and yeah. and lizard? Nah, we ain't doing any of that. It's yeah. I'm making it my own way or yeah. something ridiculous. My art, my artistic vision, my my nouveau shamanic <laughs> thespian <laughs> sense Sounds tells so me uh, Sonic should look like a a muscular dude. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> that old first Sonic, Sonic is nightmare inducing. Yeah, that old Sonic it's is nightmare fuel. It but even that got, feel. like, changed and made into something sweet and nice. And those movies were good. Yeah. And now... One and two. So, but you didn't have that before. You you were not, like, inundated with it. Right, right, You know, right. you had the video game, but the video game's a video game. Right, right, right. It's not the same as seeing it every weekend. Like, Star Wars. Star Wars used to be special. Right. Now it's... Every freaking Memorial Day, there's like a Star Wars marathon. Somewhere, somewhere right now, a Star Wars movie is playing, probably. Probably. Plus, on Disney, Disney Plus, Plus, you can, can watch, watch it anytime. all of it anytime yeah. that you want. Right. And you got the shows and all this other stuff. So it's just, it's just not as special. And nothing is really that special anymore. I guess. I guess that makes sense. So when you get these like weird outliers where oh, it's made a billion dollars, it's, it's stunning. Yeah. That's got to be Asia receipts. Uh, I'm I'm sure super yeah because I mean it is a video game character made by an Asian company so yeah yeah I mean it, it it's I don't know, I'll be honest it's an iconic character we all know Mario he's, he's come a long way from rescuing his girlfriend from a giant monkey yeah who's not even his girlfriend anymore yeah she left him for Donkey Kong Pauline left him for Donkey Kong yeah I'm is pretty, that right I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Look at that. That's crazy. That's Imagine some... getting left by your like hot girlfriend for some monk, for some <laughs> giant, some twisted hey, lore. He was yeah. he was pretty muscular, Donkey Kong. Whoa! So is Pauline, wait a minute. Is Pauline that was into bestiality? Weird. Is Pauline uh, Donkey Kong Junior's mom? Huh? Um, probably. So is Donkey yeah. Kong Junior half human? Oh, um, um, maybe. This is kind of weird. I don't yeah. really like the way this I'm, is going. I feel uncomfortable by this line of. Also, I'm pretty sure that Princess right. Peach is the mother of all of Bowser's children. I mean, I it makes like sense. Ninety nine like, would, 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 would be the most bizarre thing I've seen come from Japan. <laughs> <laughs> you aren't wrong about that either. Know. You have never told a lie. I'm gonna go around the table and get numbers. I'll start with you, Olive G. One to ten. Um, uh, like an eight. An eight. Wait, wh- what movie are we talking about again? Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> Honor Among oh. Thieves, the ones that uh, you just saw. Uh, I'm sorry, it's just like you guys are talking about so many movies. I That's thought true. we were All reviewing right, Mario Bros. Review. This is the review for Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Gigi, one to ten. I'll g- I'll also give this an eight. Sure. All right. What about you? Uh, yeah, I'll give this an eight. I enjoyed it. I'm gonna say eight point five. All right. It was it was close to perfect, but not quite there. But still, definitely worth not, a watch. Nine is not perfect. Ten is perfect. Ten is perfect, but closer to perfect than not. I would say. Okay. This was this was very entertaining. This is I good. Think. If you haven't seen it, go see it. You, yeah. You'll be entertained. It's still in the theaters, or if you're not into going to a crowded theater with sticky floors. Although, is it crowded? Because apparently this movie didn't make any money. Um, you can check it out 
uh, for buy rent on Prime, I believe. Mm-hmm. All right, so eight, 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 eight and a half. Absolutely, absolutely, go check out Dungeons and Dragons: Honor Among Thieves from 2023 with a runtime of two hours and 14 minutes. It's rated PG 13. There's nothing objectionable here. There are scenes of peril, but yeah, nothing you, you crazy. You gotta have the peril. There's an there's an adorable fat dragon. That was hilarious. I love we the loved the dragon. Love the big fat dragon. Love the f- big fat dragon that could barely move. I had a. Uh, he reminded me of a frog I had when I was a kid. <laughs> was sliding wonderful. everywhere. Wonderful, rotund uh, dragon. Yes, Very wonderful. Cool. Uh, while I was watching, all I kept thinking was, "That's my future." <laughs> That's my future. You're wind up on TLC on like six hundred pound light. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Yep. There's too many good snacks. I'll be the enabler. <laughs> You're gonna be like Liz in the well, whale. Well, yeah. You'll be like, how, how did this happen? And I'll be like, coming walking through the door with like six buckets of Popeyes chicken. I don't know. <laughs> how could this have happened? We're not. We're not doing anything weird here. <laughs> You're force feeding mom Popeyes chicken. Just buckets. Chicken? Of not. E- it's just the skin. It's <laughs> I think when I was pregnant, was it pregnant with G or pregnant with Olive? I don't remember. All I wanted was like beer and chicken skins. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. All right, well, we should just we wrap should this up. We should state that you did not drink beer when you were. Yes, pregnant. no, with neither child. I had a, I had a thing for it, but you wouldn't let me. No. You watched me like a hawk. Remember that time you told us that dad, you okay. thought dad was dead. It's time to wind up. The review, <laughs> okay, no face person, okay so let's say good night. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it from us, and we will bid everyone a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>